Yeah, my peeps, so after after two weeks of storm, you know, this is how I catch up. I got to see this morning. Come on, the two weeks of storm, people catch two lobster, jack, uh, one snapper, some more jack oil, so and uh, one slimy boy. So right about now, I do you know, my people, I go out, I scale up them fish right there before I drop them in the high fridge, you know. Now nah, I just drop them in the high fridge. So I can go out and give them a scale off. Now just watch what I go on, I scale them off. So soon when time I don't scale them off. Lovely people, watch what I go on now. No. First thing first, I get the fire light up, you know. You know? And then, as I did say earlier on, I deal with some red stripes. They are buttered. Yeah, lobster. And then that one we are give it some barbecue so red shot beer butter barbecue lobster. Two people have me. I ill you over this one. Yeah, but over here, so you know. Yeah. This is the next best thing to the island. You put all the people. Come on, the next best thing is my people. I tell you the best thing. Next. What is thing this? Yes, my peeps, this is a run through uh, most of what we are going to use today. You know. Yeah, catch up on thing my peeps slowly but what surely so now we get some water and pan them and we give them a rinse off so we can give them a, a pot dry you know, no? we didn't have a pot dry them because uh, you know our batter we are gonna mix them up in today you know, my people so we don't really have to give them the pot dry they like when we are going to fry them without any butter being mixed up and dip them in so we just watch the process of our people but we are going on now making them rings up what I'm sure say no little pieces on the fourth of them in them what I'm sure again say the main vein come out and then we are going to do our thing and we are going to do our thing yeah so we are 
Keep it again, my peeps. So, red stripe beer butter. Barbecue. Lobster. Alright. All wash, clean down and thing and on I'm just making you guys have a close nice little look at the texture of the meat. Yeah man, right about now we got to go ahead and mix up the beer butter in my people. So you know I remember I'm telling you the frame now look on the texture of the meat my people. Go, go now close in and look on where I go on. Now this is freshly catch from the ocean in my people. Let me say freshly what? Freshly catch from the ocean. Is you want some some flour, right? You need a nice little amount for the amount where we have to leave it. You know? just throw it all away in the bag. I don't want to leave it in the bag, so I can just throw it all away in the bag. Close as possible to the seasoning in the bag. So. First, this is what we are going to do now. We're going to season, you know, to season to taste. First, we're going to get in some, some old beer. And, yeah, man, don't watch me throw in my people. As you can see, I already know the, the level of my salt and my seasoning. So, right now, we need some slappy man. Yeah, man, and this is it you know my people, this is all about flavor and spices you know right from all purpose maggie this is all about flavor and spices flavor is what made the food taste good some extra kick in the pot you now my people you know you want some complete season Yeah, and that complete season now we don't have to have some some onion powder you okay, know one if you have the taste of the onion there you know look you have little, little garlic powder yeah, man, and the reason why we are using the powder instead of you know, we can't use the, the onion itself in the butter we can't use the garlic itself in the butter so, now put the extra kick we need some cayenne pepper, you know, one little pepper there, flavor there in it. See him there? Yeah. That is about it right now, my people. So, all right now, my peeps, we already put in all our powder season and stuff inside of this, you know. So, what we do is we go flick the beer up now. We we'll flick the beer up now, we can go ahead and something, my people. You know, I'm supposed to hear that, you know, that is the sound of a hot beer. <laughs> you hear it peeps? That's the sound of a what? A hot beer. We get a little mix now with my people and see what's going on. Let me see what I do today. Some red stripe, beer butter, lobster. My God, God damn man. Peeps. Come like it I go want another beer my people. I said earlier on my people. In a them case and them a scenario, yeah. When I see me touch the kitchen and say I go try out something, you know. 
just want to know if you know what I'm saying. And nothing normal and a dibby dibby cooking when I say we touch the kitchen, you know, my people. You see me? I want to know, come closer, come have a look at the butter, how it look, how consistent it is and stuff like all that. You hear me people, so. Texture, the consistency of it and the flavor of it, you know, my people. This is not going nowhere else, but in a crisp air fishing kitchen. You see me? This is going to be one of the special them you know, my people. Okay. Yeah, man. Have a look at the consistency of it, my people. Just like that. Texture it just smooth, just mild, right enough to eh? wide and get it done, you know, my people. You see me? Let's look, have a look at that. My God, create too bad. So, in the meantime, between time, you know, my beautiful people, watch what you have now. No? Getting on the pot for the fire. Go on, eat up and on. We wait for it. Eat up a little bit and get in the cooking aisle. Yeah, man. So the time is now, you know, my beautiful people. Pull the aisle back there now and get in some aisle in the pot. So we want enough where we can give them a nice fry. We're not here. Something, you know, my people. So that is about it right there. And then, alright, my peeps. So what you are going on now? Take out the spoon out of it. Go get the lobster dip down right now, people. We want to get him drain off, you know, we don't want too much on it. You know, my peeps? I know this is all what you call flavor. A better yet, my people, you just come up with a better solution and a better idea for them um, towards it, you know. So just watch your one, because you know me, I always have the ideas, you know, my people. Alright, my people, so, we not have them over here, so you know the, you know the file we can. Right away, me just come up with an idea I just doing something like this, my people. You know, not, not really to go up on the shell. Cause you know, nobody not eat the shell, you know, so you know the meat you want the, the whole thing to flavor right up. You know my people? Yeah, man. Just like that, my people, where I get them with the butter. All over it, you know, my people. I round the hot up and thing, you know, my people, so you don't know what I got, you know. I'm going to start get them in the, in the pot right away. You know, the oil sizzle and diesel, you know, well hot. Meat down first. Yeah, man. We gotta do it. I go ahead and we gotta ice up the pot and keep it. You know, we don't want it. We don't want it to start burning and it not cooking. You know. Yeah, man. So we just turn down the fire a bit like this, you know. Yeah. All right, my people, so. Slowly give him a little turn. Yeah, we just we don't really pack up this this fire in a fire no one. And to get them nice little consistent um thing there my people. Yeah. When cray outside, cray outside, cray never want going at my people. Cray always want to make one get the best out of what?
right now, I'm going to get one out of the fire, you know. I'm trying to use one of the pizza. I'm going to take him back one in the way. Right away. They're up on now. Sorry. Barbecue sauce in my face. I just get them on now. Sprinkly over them. You know? Just like that in my face. I'm going to tip the water in my face. Stretch it out a little bit. More. So this time it just come to a boil, we get the half of the fire, you know, and butter them up like fresh baked bread in the people. Mm, so right now they are done a little barbecue sauce on them. to see this fellow right here. See, he's yeah. already set up doing his business. I've always seen this yard on the vlogs that he do, and this is a beautiful yard. I wish you could see it. Now, I can just a plumb door. Let's see the right one. There you go. There you go. There's a little girl. Yeah, one block. So look what I'm going on now. Lobster ready up on thing. Yeah, man. That's Christine Parker and my peeps. <laughs> yeah man so we yes. are we are vloggers out. Don't forget to like and share because this is amazing. Yeah man we are vloggers a whole different complete this bag. Not. I wanna put my camera tomorrow down and let me talk on my bestest favorite most constant let's see let's get the words together constant contents i'm finally here to meet you again and i came in a time where you are editing and making your video this is beautiful i finally get to taste that yum chefs 
lobster you make on these vlog mouth water and lobster so now i'm here and i'm gonna tell y'all how good it is so remember whenever i'm gonna come to jamaica stop at the border and send mary and what what land make sure to stop by and get some of the great flavors taste the lobster along with all of the whole Slap your, Slap your mama. mama. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, my peeps. What you going on? She lit a shell on her. This is all about yeah. me, you know. <laughs> Come on, sir. Christina, right, going on. It's all about me, Craig. Tell him. <laughs> mm. Going off here, I want to know my peeps. Right. We trying to find some other officer. Aren't you guys proud of this guy right here? OMG. I'm proud of him. I'm proud of the work he does. And he makes everyone happy when they eat his food. <laughs> yeah, my look, my look and I listen. cha, cha. May I pray a picture with something? Man, cha. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to start you eat lobster. Mm -hmm. Let me peep some of those. I'm going to swear I'm going to. I'm telling them, I can't even know if I talk with them more food, but I'm going to talk with my food today. You know when you go into the restaurants and they have these lots of looking pretty and dressed up, and they just have a little butter on the side, you just dip it in, and then that's it. It's all you taste is butter. Well, this, you know when you eat food and it's seasoned up good, and then you have the, the gravy and the juice and everything, and when you just lock your lips to the meat or the bone or everything you just taste all the flavor and just seeps up from inside so you know that the food is well seasoned that's what i'm talking about that's how you eat seafood i'm a seafood lover i love crab i love i love anything in the season okay what them eat me i gonna eat them but this i'm glad i was able to taste lots of like this because all this picking with spoon is not gonna work this is how you gotta eat it okay thank you for watching like don't share forget, and subscribe don't forget Mm -mm, take them off, say it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, peoples all over the world, y'all all watch him. London, yeah, England, yeah, I'm yeah, from yeah. Vegas. Left from California, live in Vegas now. I've been following this guy for as first as he started. You all love him. Whenever y'all make a trip, just try. If you can't, I mean, I'm, I've been here for a week and I'm just making it here. I've been wanting to. Try and come. Bring a little support, you know. Take you out on the beach, you know? Take you out, show you what it's all about, and try the food. It's pretty good. Well, I don't like pepper, but it's not even that spicy of where I can't handle it. But yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and also share with your family. Like I'm sharing it with you guys now, and my set, I bring, share it with your family. So even when I leave, they can comment. So yeah. So, right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah.